What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another episode. Uh, today we are here at a little uh, local lake. It's not that big. Uh, the ice is about, I would say six inches, but we're marking some fish right now. We got something around, looks like, we're at 12 feet of water, but I see something at eight feet. So we're gonna check it out really quick. There's a lot of fish down there from what it looks like. So stick around if you guys haven't yet press that subscribe button and hopefully we can get on some fish a couple days ago i did went to go uh white fish in green bay but a lot of my footage got ruined by my microphone I, I i don't know what's been going on with my mic i think i need to buy a new one but hopefully the audio in this video is good all right we're gonna drop down there right now i still got some waxy from the last time when i went to white fish so we're gonna throw one on I do have some plastic also that I want to try, but we're going to start with this because light bait usually seems to be the key. So, so before we get started, I want to talk about my setup today. So today I'm using the rod made by Calling Monster Custom Rod. Very awesome rod, very sensitive. I'll show you guys in a little bit, but I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to check out uh, his page on Facebook. And if you guys want to order one, hit him up. Uh, so right here it says calling monster and then down here right under it, it says custom rod not sure how well you guys can see that but this is a red and black one you can pick your own color really nice eyes right here a hook placement right there where you can place your hook and then your handle you can pick whatever handle you want we got a lot of fish on the screen so I want to get down there um, I got a tungsten right here this is what I'm using this is a gold tungsten with a glow top on the with a little glow head on the top. I don't know how well you guys can see that either, but we got waxy on there. Um, three pound test line, and then this rail right here is made by Pissyfung. It is a ICX5, really awesome rail. All right, let's get down there. I'm marking a lot of fish right now, so if you guys haven't yet, press that subscribe button, and hopefully we can get on some fish. All right, let's go. Dropping down pretty fish. I mean, pretty fish. I was. I meant to say pretty fast. So you guys keep an eye on the tip right here. Man, this rod is so sensitive. It's so crazy. Ooh, dang. Oh, come on now. I'm getting bites. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's go. Small little guy. Ah, decent guy. Little bluegill here. Check that out, guys. I'm going to snap a quick picture here. There's so many of them down there. Let's go. Let's see what it is. Ah, you got a little a pumpkin seed, maybe? All right, well, anyways, let this guy go. Let's go. It's a tiny little gill right here. Tiny little blue gill. This guy was pretty up high. Was up pretty high. In the water column. Ah, here I let you have that. Ooh, let's go. Ooh, look at that, guys. This is a nice size little gill right here. Check that out. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna let this guy go. There he goes. 
All right, you guys, so something different here. I'm gonna do my outro here and I'll explain to you guys why. So I got home and then I started editing my videos. And then for some reason, when I got to the outro, my mic was not working properly when I was still out in the water. So, you know, the hard thing is like, I don't ever know what's going on with my footage until I get home and then, you know, I start editing. Um, so that is the same thing that happened to me when I went to Green Bay just a couple days ago to do whitefish and you know I captured we caught some fish and I captured some really great videos but when I got home and I couldn't edit I can edit but I'm not gonna post something that has horrible quality for you guys to watch like I was just listening to it and I didn't even like it. It was just like wind was just coming in like crazy and it's just like staticky and I don't know what's going on with my mic lately. Normally when there's wind, like in this video, uh, it was a really windy day. It was like 15 miles per hour and it was okay with, you know, I had the little dead cat on my uh, mic and it worked fine, but I don't know what happened. I took off the GoPro and then I was holding it out just like how you would uh, hold a selfie stick and you know, I was talking to the GoPro. So that's how I did my outro. And then for some reason, it just went bad. So I did buy a new mic and the mic's getting here tomorrow. Um, so hopefully that fixed the issue here and we will have more better quality audio for the future. So if you guys haven't yet, press that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.